singing. Boat, boat, take us away, take us away, far away to the future. I don't know what fucking tune this is. We will go. Where it leads, no one knows. All right, Pistol, you can shut the fuck up now. Okay, this doesn't look great. Pistol, this is the worst idea we've ever had. Why did we do this, Pistol, you stupid bitch? Oh, shit. Oh, I've got a steer. I've got, I've, I've got it. I've got a steer. Woohoo. Ow. That was my fucking face. Ow. That was my other face. Got to do that a few times, I think. This is going to take me a few tries. There we go. That was much better. Now I realise I can speed up and slow down. Oh, hi. Oh. I have to do it again. I didn't realise hitting the rats was a bad idea. I thought, hey. Big giant raft, little rat people, I'm gonna fuck them up. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I'm crashing and doing it again. This is gonna take several tries, guys. I'm trying not to be super salty. Fuck's sake! Oh my god, oh my... Okay, I'm getting triggered now. Like that. There we go. Now, definitely avoid the fucking rats. Alright, and then we hit the last one. Is fine, I guess. Karma? Uh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not numb. This is not numb. I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. I do, I do not like this one little bit. I guess if I hadn't killed him, he wouldn't be there. And that's why it's karma. Shit. Shit, son. Scary place. So what are we going to do now? Come with me to my tavern limbo. Woohoo! I put my faith in my destiny. I let myself act on my own. I simply just watch. Everything seems to be solving itself. It's as if I was punished for straying off the script. I've given up. My life moves on. Better than before. Alright guys, rounds on me, what are you drinking? Rat piss? Coming right up. Oh, look. Wanna read another one of my poems? I go on. Yes. I, May, I don't know anything, know anything, oh no. Let there be rain again, no rain again, oh no. Sister malfunction, ornery morning. Sunlight stripes are slowly moving. I'm feeling so stressed out, but I cannot move. I'm hearing the music, but I cannot groove. As long as there is sunlight outside, my eyes will hurt, I'll stay inside. I'm afraid of the systems, afraid of God, afraid of mankind, and nine to five jobs. Is it every day? This is every day. Just do as they say, they turn blue to gray. Just endure this winter, can't wait till May. You'll be all right one day. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm too tired to act alright. If I had wings, I would take flight. Jump off the edge of this world. Hide behind the moon. And never return. Nice place you got here. I can finally breathe out a bit. Even when you're gone, there's still others here, so I'm not alone. Are those drumsticks you got there? Sure thing. Do you drum? Nope. Of course I do, dummy. Or, well, I mean, not really. I'm not in a band or anything. I just drum on the table or any other surface to get rid of some surplus energy. Good for you. See you later, Zex. Oh, oh, you were soaked. Heh, <laughs> you must have been on quite an adventure. Make sure to warm yourself up in front of the fireplace before heading out again. Brr, yeah, I will. Anyways, I know you have a lot of questions, like what's going on, and why is all this happening? Well, I think it's about time you met someone who has a lot of answers. Although he's somewhat special, so you will see about that. I'll open the door for you. Okay, thanks. Someone with aunt- I gotta just hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got an achievement for warming myself by the fire. It's kind of cool. At first, I was curious, naive and strong. What's outside the box? 
I'm connecting the dots. I searched day and night, pushing forward in my fight. When I realized what I found, I lost my mind. Meeting for the first time. This is a prison cell block. We are family. Konora, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Krinks family, Konora. We're getting closer and closer to that 1,000 subs again. Oh look, it's uh, Nagito from Danganronpa. I eat myself to survive. I kill myself to survive. I fuck myself to survive. Who am I? Uh, this guy? Schoenabog is a demon, right? With insomnia, nothing's real. Everything's far away. Everything's a copy of, a copy of, a copy of. When you have insomnia, you're never really asleep and never really awake. Isn't that from Fight Club? <laughs> or at least, isn't it quoted in Fight Club if it's a quote from somewhere else? I'm pretty sure. Or about our shroud. Nodus Tollens. What the fuck have I become? So you've arrived. Hello, who are you? You were once me. Oh well, we are the same. At the same time, time is irrelevant. Or subjective. But at one point the universe was focused on me. My story. And now it's focused on you. Who put you here? And why are you still here? Long story, but I guess I put myself here to keep me safe. And I remain here because I'm dead. I'm merely a function now. A function based on what you once were. What you once reached. When you were me, you wanted me to remain a function so I could explain to you what we are. If you're dead and still here, what is death? Before we can define death, we need to define life. And exactly how do we define life? It's hard, right? But I think the key point should be consciousness. We are here, we are conscious. Oh well, you are. So if you are not conscious, you are dead. No? When I die, do I disappear into darkness? That's what you assume happens when you die. Yet here you are, asking all these questions. Do you remember anything before your birth? No. Could one say you were dead before you were alive? If that's the case, then when you are dead, you can become alive. And when you are alive, you can become dead. It's circular. It's a circular pattern, isn't it? Truth is, there never is a point where you, the real you, is not conscious. You are always there. You ever don't usually remember your transition from one body to another, one dream to another. And I guess I shouldn't fear death. No, not more than you should fear life. I wish I could have come to that insight while I was alive. I've gone through my share of fears, social anxiety, fear of death, fear of any situation that I wasn't in control of. Over. Never mind. Where were we? If death is an illusion, am I dead or alive? Dead, alive, both, neither, doesn't matter, you just are. Any definition of alive is purely subjective. Only common ground they share is that you are conscious. So if I'm dead, alive, whatever, is there a god? I don't know. Is there? I asked you. Well, what is god to you? God is a concept that defines here in the realm. No one else exists but you. No holy scripture to tell you what to think and what to question. In your most basic state of consciousness, you'll find any answer you need. But ultimately, that answer is for you and you alone. Forcing use on others is a sure way to mislead yourself. This didn't answer anything. If you want to find God, start by looking in a mirror. If you've figured something out, got your definition of the concept of God, you can come back to me and let me know what, you're com what you've come up with. Sorry for the amount of information, and sadly there's a lot more to come. Next time. For now, think about it for a while. Say hi to Ulrich for me. Wait, you know Ulrich too? Yes, he was a spiritual- he was my spiritual teacher. Once he was alive too, he passed on his findings to me, and I began my quest for truth. Now I need to rest. You're gonna just keep closing your eyes and nodding your head and having a stroke, or what? Outer border? A single pill to make it quiet makes no mistakes in autopilot. I've improved my chances struggling to survive. A dead leaf dances, but it's not alive. The person who made this really likes poetry, I feel. Like, it seems to be like a, a really important thing to them in terms of like an expression of art and stuff. Oh, they've moved. Alright, alright, what's up next? 
Welcome back. Did you get the answers you were looking for? I think so. I think I actually thought that made sense, to be honest with you. Good D can be a little bit hard to understand sometimes, but I promise you he's trying his hardest to convey his thoughts as best he can. Now feel free to stay here as long as you need before heading out again. I'll open the door for you. Okay, thanks. Like, I feel the concept of this game's story seems to very much be like, um... We are always conscious, even when we're dead and before we're born. Like, it's consciousness that matters, not the state of being alive or dead. You just don't remember being conscious prior to being born, even though you were. And you don't remember being conscious after being dead until you are dead or whatever. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. Like, I, I, I understand the premise of... Con I don't agree with it, but I understand the premise behind it. I understand how this game is framing itself. Forgive me, my father, for I am a sinner, unanswered, abandoned. Feed me, drown me is the next chapter. That sounds fucked up. Why is there a giant sloth lying on a sun lounger? But why can't I press E on these? It's weird. Hi, giant sloth. How's it going? It's got a glass of wine, too. I'm going to do the southern accent. Thoris is my name. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't. For some reason, I want to give him an Australian voice, but I can't do an Australian accent. I've got an Australian voice in my head, even though I said I just do a southern accent. But Thoris is my name, and to skip right ahead, then my point of you being here is simple. You feed me my weight. We'll lift this mechanism and the door will be revealed. Simpler. Now get to it. I'm starving. So I feed him and his weight will lift the mechanism. Uh, I'll explain the process briefly, but I don't like to waste my time and energy by talking. So listen carefully. In the garden, you'll find monsters. Kill them. Bring the raw meat. They'll drop. Cook it in the stoves in the kitchen here. Bring the cooked meat to me and I'll gladly gobble it down. Oh, yeah. Risa. Thank you, delicious pigeon cheese. Hello, makes it ever it was half a glint of a sperm. I don't remember me when I was half a glint in a sperm's nucleus. And it's probably a good thing, though. That's true. Okay, anything else? Oh, yes. Can't forget the one. I had it all set up by the previous visitor. By now, the machine seems to have stopped working. You can see the tower over there in the distance? It's supposed to deliver me delicious grapes. Blah, blah. You'll figure it out. Now get to it. Um, so who built this device anyway? The device is something clever. I asked the previous visitor to create it for me. Now, I don't have to move an inch. Any passerby that wants to get through simply has to feed me to go through. Brilliant, eh? Now, chop, chop. We ain't got all day. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. We have a gun. We have a shotgun. So, we need 20 meat. 20, we need 20 raw meat to make into 20 cooked meat. And then four wines from the tower in the distance, which is over there. These things look fucking horrible. They're like little demons. Little goat demons. Blood for the blood god? Blood for the blood god. What the fuck is this? Whoa! They're not very friendly. Solve this puzzle. I guess the blue wire is the one. Where did the goat people break this? Oh fuck! That scared the living shit out of me. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. This is wrong. This is wrong. I just realized. There we go. I fixed it. There you go. There you go. Fuck you. That little goat thought he had to jump on me. That little goat thought he had the fucking jump on me. But he didn't. He fucking didn't. No one gets to jump on Minx. No one. Like this. Oh, fuck. Fucking didn't. No one gets to jump on Minx. No one. 
You know where that goat is now? In hell. What the fuck did that just do? It, it, it's shooting giant berries over to the sloth. I don't like those great people at all. They're pretty terrifying. A little bit too soon, a little bit later, like there. That worked. These are work this is working. Okay, we got it. Four out of four. Perfect. Now we just feed the fat cunt some wine and uh, sorry, some steak and we're all done. Yawn. Come on, cunt. Look at his disgusting fucking lips, by the way, he's asleep now. Can't speak, too full. Now go. Need rest. Okay, let's bring him to the tavern, I guess. I guess he isn't coming. Good. Fuck you. Don't like you. I'm not waiting for anyone to save me. I had hopes for a better future anyway. For us all, and I can't do much more. Can you see that everything is better for the gods above? For those in love? The fraud of us? Our heart? In drugs? Yeah, the sloth didn't come. That's good, guys. My trip was great. I met this guy, or animal of some sort, Plethorus. Oh, Plethorus. Yes, what do you think of him? It's quite sad, actually. Sadly, I agree, but I think Plethorus exists as a life lesson for others. On the surface, he looks happy and content, but I think it's just a facade. Deep down, he's trying to fill an empty void with temporary things. What he needs to learn is what the void is there for. Why he's so focused on filling it in the first place. Anyways, it's easy to nudge others. Hard to realise we're never perfect ourselves. I'm sure there are problems you face in your lifetime the others silently judge you for. Let me open the door. Thanks. Deathbird suits you, bird. I think that's a good name. Antisocial is a cure. Break the system, see the truth. Hear the stalkers way too soon. Find the killer in the room. Black. Confronting discomfort. Well, we've had one hell of a fucking party here. And someone's pissed off that we've had a party. They're knocking on our door. What the fuck? Oh, I'm losing health. The eye in the door is it hurting me. Jesus Christ. This is really fucking surreal. The eye is gone, and we lost a bunch of health from it. What the fuck? Okay! Okay. Okay. This is not okay. I don't like this one. I do not like this one. Oh, fuck me. I'm dead. Maybe not. They're like patrolling in patterns. Okay. Just gotta, just gotta get, get through. Just, just gotta. Okay, okay. I did not like that at all. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. We're just getting our package, guys. We're just here for the package, all right? Just here for the package. What the fuck? Just the package, guys. I'm just here for the package. Just, just the package. Just the package. Stop killing me. Oh, hi. How's it going? You look normal. Hello. You don't seem like the others. Who are you? Hey, my name's Brave. Not the most suiting name, really. Uh, who are these people? They keep staring at me. You too, huh? I also used to get dizzy and anxious around strangers. Thought they stared at me, laughed behind my back. I used to get self-conscious about how I walk, talk, act, how even how much breathing is heard, and 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to rant, but it's been so long since I've met someone l like me. You used to? You mean there's a cure? Well, cure and cure. An insight, I guess. You see, you might be afraid of a lot of different things. Airplanes, insects, snakes, dogs. And yeah, well, some of these are pretty logical. Like, who isn't afraid of the sea? It's scary as all hell and dangerous, and there are legitimately monsters living deep down there. And, well, the sea is dangerous, okay? There are other fears, though, like cats. Cats are cute, cuddly fluke balls that are super friendly, right? While well, some people are terrified of cats that they tremble. So my fear is, like, being afraid of cats? Yeah, I guess. If you see people as harmless cats walking around, they no longer scare you, right? That's what I did. That might actually work. I bet they're all cats now. It helped me, at least. I realised that there was no real threat in the situation. In fact, it was just me who was too self-conscious, really. Like I said, I was afraid they would laugh at me. Think I look stupid or talk funny, but in the end, who cares? Who cares if I look the stupidest or talk the funniest in the whole world? I am just me, and I want to continue being me. Actually, I think everyone is equally insecure. Some just show it more than others. Um, I have this postal note. Oh, you can pick it up at the postal office. You just passed it. Can't miss it. Do you know where the exit is to this place? The exit is right here behind this door. It's locked, though. I've been looking for the key myself, but to no avail. Sorry. Alright, bye then. Bye. See you around, maybe. Hi, Pretzel. Pretzel just came in and gave me a hug. Yeah, I can't move that lever at the moment. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, they're so cute now. They're such little puppies. Little puppies, little kitties. Pretzel's a lot longer than these kitties, guys. Hi, I just come to deliver a package if that's alright. Let me read this graffiti though. Addiction leads to depression. In depression, you're taught some lessons. If you listen, they keep on pushing and the solution causes evolution. Obstacles come inside of your path and make you switch up and step on the gas. You look back inside of your path, you find direction. It's like your own map. Underachievers. I guess that's a song lyric or something? I don't fucking know. Meow. Do you have a package to pick up? Yeah, here's the postal note. Let me see. Here's your package, Tiny Cruise. Thanks. That looked like it was covered in feces, actually. Are in shit. Just wish I knew what to do with this package. Because it wasn't very clear, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, meow, hello, is that a package for me? Mmm, it's just my delicious fishy bones I ordered. Thank yous a lot. Oh, the postman gave me this. I guess it's yours. Oh, I guess we got mixed up. Poor. Can I come in your house and look around? If you bite my head off and kill me, I'll be pretty upset, by the way. Great, great artwork on the wall there, I love it. Meow, it's great! Oh look, he ate all his fish. Lovely. Alright, I'm gonna take this to the postal thing, it's another postal label. That apartment right now is cleaner than my desk in real life. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. That is a hundred percent true and accurate. Meow, do you have a package to pick up? Here you goes. I got the key. Alright guys, I'm gonna open the door. If you turn into monsters and try and kill me, that'd be really shit. So don't do that again. Oh yeah, Risa. Thank you, the beast of squeaks. Five months. They say thank you for being so non-minx. Oh, and you found a key. Yeah, you should join me in Tavern Limbo. Really, thanks. Yeah, I'd love to get out of here. It's a bit too crowded for my taste. Anyway, not to mention all the cat hair that gets stuck in my dress. The world started to fall apart. At times I wondered whether or not I should just stop my journey, but I continued to see the world from a different angle. Everyone around me suddenly felt like automatic robots just walking around their daily routines, bound by their own invisible rules. I refused to become one of them, just couldn't stand the thought the slightest. But then one day I found myself in a situation where I couldn't choose. It was... It was something about her gaze. It was definitely the eyes. Pretzel, I love you, honey, but you can't do that because I'm recording. You can't... You can't keep rattling that. You little cutie. I'm gonna rub go your belly though, okay, Pretzel? I just say I really like this game. I'm really enjoying it. We, city of the enemy, soldiers moving rapidly, fascia makers heavenly, we are living tragedies. Controlling colonies come to our sodomy, fight on land and seas, crawl to us on your knees, kill the enemy, feel serenity, know the enemy, there's no them, only we. And there's a nuclear bomb with a smiley face. Great, great, I like your emo book rap face. Hey, thanks for letting me come. I really need a change of scenery. No problem, how are you doing? 
I'm okay, but I catch myself thinking about the past constantly. Anything specific? Not really, no. It's just that we make mistakes, we say or do things we regret, and for whatever reason, we think we're back on those memories and cringe. Well, these memories don't serve a purpose other than bring me down, you know? Oh, so you want to get rid of them? Nothing so drastic. I'm pretty okay with the fact that I've grown, and I know I'm not the only one with a rough past. We all go through our hardships, but what I realised was that I drift into bad memory patterns pretty much automatically. Subconsciously? Yeah, and when I go through all these scenarios of what if, and contemplate on what I've done differently, it's not entirely bad and all, but I've already gone through it over and over again. I never gather anything new. So you're saying stop digging in the past. Exactly. If I realise there's nothing more I can learn or do about it, I try and say I've already gone through this, there's nothing more to gather. I try and go back at the memory and return to the now. Does it work? Oh, well, apparently not well enough yet, but I seem to have gotten a bit better at it. Now I realise it's fairly quickly and stop my train of thoughts before I dig myself deeper into this emotional hole. Anyway, thank you for listening. This is really good. Um, that's an interesting thing as well. There's like some really deep shit in this, like, in this so far, like... Dwelling on the past is something like we all as people do. Like, I know that after like my ex, uh, my ex left me a, 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 a long time ago now, but I was obviously really devastated after a seven year relationship came to an end. I was really, I felt awful, you know? It was like someone had died almost, especially as I just sort of kind of like fucked off, like without any real warning. And I remember like going through constantly scenarios as to why they would have left and things like that and being really upset about it. That cunt sloth. Um, and I would repeatedly play through things that happened and events prior to them leaving and try and like see what did I do wrong, what did I do, that sort of thing. And it was a really unhealthy thing to do, but it, I think it's also quite a natural thing for us to do as humans, if that makes sense. Like, I think we tend to like dwell on, um, on bad shit and try and find a reason for it when there's not necessarily a reason for it. Sometimes things just happen. And it's important not to be too hung up on the past and try and move forward because if you can't do that you never find greater things and more enjoyable things in life like like I found chrism and that's really nom so you know um, I think it's interesting but yeah sorry for being deep but I thought it was interesting hello there why are you covered in cat hair anyway have you had time to think about what you and D talked about I think so Good, you remember whatever definition or concept you have of, well, anything really, can differ greatly between people. No one is necessarily right or wrong. My teacher said something to me long ago about the dangers of being too certain of things. A man with one watch knows the time, a man with two watches is never quite sure, and this might seem like a bad thing, but being unsure of information is better than being sure. It means you're open for possibilities and the flux of the universe. No path is fixed. If you're still a bit unsure to what the concept of God means to you, the next place might help you come to some form of realisation about, well, the greater consciousness that we share. Let's have a look. I'm interested as a atheist as to what this is going to be. Where am I? What is this place? In a place like this, I am God. So oh shit! Fuck me! Fuck me, that scared the shit out of me. So some weird hobgoblin man attacked me there. 